Thank you um, very much, everybody. This is Dee. I'm continuing now, um, picking up where I left off, and I'm on page 94 from William Brooks's The Little Book, which I um, am going to be reading as much as I can in what time allows. So I know the book is lengthy. I think there's, um, I you know, I don't even remember how many pages there are. I think it's over 200 pages, quite sure. I've been just reading it page by page and seeing what's on my heart, and it's all important. So I bow my head and I bow my heart and I say, Lord Abba Yah, Heavenly Father Abba Yah, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight as I continue reading with the little book dot PDF file that you gave to William Brooks to write. And you gave him this assignment for four months and he completed it and passed it on to everybody else. So I am just as a messenger following these instructions to give it out to everyone who wants to hear it, who maybe does not have time to go into the uh, PDF file and read it for themselves because they're very busy. So thank you everybody for being out there. Uh, this is on page 94. It was given on May 6th of this year, 2024. Please, as with everything, always take it to the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, for his confirmation. I get my confirmation when I talk to him, praying to him, um, speaking my heart. I speak in tongues. I see him. Um, he's in my, he's in, I see his presence. He's with me when I close my eyes. That's called being in the spirit. Uh, for those who are, are of you who are new out there and still don't see in the spirit, you're probably still hearing from him. So um, the time is short. So he is communicating with us many different ways, everybody. So depending on how far along you are in your walk, if you're one year into the walk, if you're 10 years, if you're 15 years, you're all going to be on different levels with him. Okay, so that enough said there. I know you all I know you all get the picture. Um it was actually taken from to my faithful ministers, I commission you. So I have um on my heart, I commission you, my faithful bride. To my faithful ministers and those who have left Laodicea, my bride, hear my voice and come to me that I may yet soothe your wounds and strengthen you in my might. Fear not, my anger is not on you, for I will say to you, Well done, good and faithful servant, for you have been faithful over a few things. I will make you rule, ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of your Lord. For I have harsh words, words of chastisement for the disobedient. But that particular chastisement is not directed at you because you are faithful though you should still take heed to my words lest you fall my faithful bride you are the apple of my eye and there is no condemnation towards you for you are in Christ and have built your lives on me Jesus Christ even the chief cornerstone that the false builders have rejected continue to stay faithful in me for I am coming to you in great power and in works you never imagined for yourselves. For you didn't know you were born into the mystery of God. I think everybody should just take a deep breath and just try to imagine what he's saying here. Because it took me a little while. It took me, you know, it took me a little bit. Everyone talks about God. A lot of people talks about God. Um... I shouldn't say everyone. I should say there are quite a few people that talk about God and say he's a mystery. Well, God is revealing what he's saying right now as far as God being a mystery. When you're in Christ, he's saying you were born into the mystery of God at your first breath. But you have grown mightily in my grace, and now you see. For my grace is a powerful grace that cannot be overcome. And my mercies are from everlasting to everlasting. Behold, says Yeshua HaMashiach, listen to me and inscribe my words on the fleshly tables of your hearts. For I am sending you, 
yes, I am commissioning you with these words. And, and those I commission will receive undeniable confirmation of my passionate will. I am sending you in the works of my great ones. Works they started many jubilees ago, and those works continue this day. For the book of Acts is not finished being written until my bride is with me. Then you will understand the fullness from the books in the heavens. For your individual exploits are inscribed therein, and we will all rejoice at your faithfulness before Yahweh himself. For he rejoices with us and is in you all. Behold, I send some of you in the ministry of Paul as stewards of my mysteries and as apostles to the nations. Behold, I send some of you in the spirit of Elijah to stand against Jezebel, the false prophetess, and to prophesy for me, Christ Jesus. And I just wrote a little side note there when I was reading this and when I was jotting it down when I was copying it I got Holy Spirit goosebumps all up and down my arms and my legs I send some of you in the work of Philip the evangelist where I will take you from place to place with the words of my gospel on your lips tailored to the needs of the unsaved for you will save them by preaching the cross behold I send some of you in the work of Peter, for he tended my flock and fed them the pure word of God. For the slothful Laodicean ministers feed my flock junk food, even faithless words of no power. Behold, I have made you teachers so that you may teach and instruct my people in the ways of righteousness, for you will teach, teach them as I lead. For you will shepherd them as I lead. For you will evangelize evangelize them as I lead. Now this is starting on page 95. For my prophets will speak the words I give, unchanged in meaning and heart. For my apostles will shine the light of my glorious good news of the great mystery of God. So the veil of Moses can be removed from your hearts. For the Corinthian witness cries aloud. But even unto this day when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. I, Christ Jesus, remove your veil. Behold, I send you in these last minutes before your gathering to me at my appearing. I need you to hear my voice and follow my instructions, as you faithfully do, my faithful bride, for you are faithful. Go not in the work I am sending you in your own understanding. Go not in the work I am sending you in your own strength. Hear my words with your entire heart. For I, even I, Christ Jesus, the glorified Lord, say to you, I am your understanding and I am your strength and I am your ability. Only doubt not. Do the works I will lead you to accomplish and care for the people I will send you. Will you condescend to men of low estate? Will you sit with people? Will you sit with and preach to save and fellowship with the homeless? For I am sending some of you for that purpose. Will you entreat the Laodicean ministers in humility? One would a father, for so are my ways. Will you speak the words I give you, even if you don't fully understand or agree? Confirm my words with scripture. For I am sending you to do my will, not your own will. 
Will you shepherd the flock in the healing powers of the fire in your spirit? I will kindle you, that I will kindle in you. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Do my works, my bride, and cease from your own works, for there is no more time, and the lamps will soon go out. So that's it um, from pages 94 and, and 95. And please be seeking the Lord. Please um, spend time on bended knee. Please ask the Holy Spirit to confirm all this. Of course, we do this all the time. Um, I thank you very much. Thank you for prayers, everybody. I lift you up too. Um, have a blessed, have a blessed Monday, everybody. Amen.